Hello, scrappers. Yeah, getting getting a little more on the trailer. You can see I got it pretty well piled up up there in the front. I'm wanting to get some more up here in this area here, and I got to get this area to fill. I got some flat stuff and shelving here I can probably throw in the back once I shut the doors. <coughs> but uh, I've still got kind of a low spot here in the middle. I'm going to try to throw some stuff in there and maybe later try to drag one of them furnace pieces over. Cut all the wires out of it and then try to put it up inside. I got this little headache rack that I was going to modify. I can probably throw that on there. But I may be able to break these down smaller too, maybe get them both on there. If I, get, if I could cut it across right here, I could probably put this one on one side and that one on the other side. But uh, as you can kind of see where I'm where I'm at on the trailer, they would fit right in there. <coughs> moved a little bit out of here and got it mowed and moved a bunch out of that area. And I got it mowed, so. Got some stuff over there to scrap, but a lot of heavier metal. And uh, I brought a load up from down in the field. Had a bunch of stuff in pickup bed down there. Actually got a couple of them, still got a bunch of stuff in it. But the one I think is mainly short iron stuff. Then I got a lot of wire on top of that and blackberry vines. So, but I loaded up a load on the trailer here, or the tractor. A lot of tin or shred I can throw in there, but then it's got some heavier stuff mixed in. So I got the plasma cutter just inside the door. I need to drag it out. I've been out here over an hour, and that's about all I got done. I keep getting interrupted, but I'm going to get busy now. So I got some pipe there that'll go for short iron. I have to get my get my wheelbar over here wherever I set it, if I can. Something to throw the short iron in. Yeah, it's kind of blocked in there right now. So. Have to dig it out. But I've got quite a bit of tin right here on top too. Got that one real long pipe in there. But I thought I'd show you what I'm up to. I'll try to get a little cutting action here maybe. And uh, maybe put it on a tripod. Fast action or something. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to get off here for right now and get something done before it gets too hot. It's already almost 12.15. I was out here yesterday, man. It was too hot to do some of this stuff. Of course, sun was shining too, so I was trying to work while I had shade. Got pretty good cloud cover today and a pretty good breeze. So I need to open the other door in the shop and get a breeze blowing through there. So, let's see you in a bit. Yeah, I got the side of a pickup bed here that I cut off out there on the job. This thing was stuck way out, so. Pretty good weight to it, but still thin enough to go go a shred. So, and I got a lot of the shred already off this pile. And I think these here are all probably going to be shred. And top of a clothesline or swing set that's shred. I got some angle iron there for short iron. And I got a muffler. So. I set the camera up over here and we'll go from there.
Well, got everything on the forks cut up. Got a pretty good wheelbarrow full of short iron. Hopefully that's not too heavy to push over there. And uh, I'm not, I know I got three microwaves I got to tear down. I guess they might fit good in that hole right there. But getting it kind of filled up in here. So I think I'm about ready for those pieces over there. I need to get that tank over there and cut it up too one of these days. And then throw all the shelving on the back and that might be a load. I might be able to take it in tomorrow or Tuesday. It's supposed to get storms again Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I'd like to get it in before then and before prices drop too much. But I think I'm going to take a break, go in and get a bite to eat. And uh, then I got some stuff still down in the trailer down there. I might bring up here, take, take the mower and trailer down there. Empty it out and then see if I can't pick up that bed. Because I don't know where I'll put it right now, but I don't have room on this load, that's for sure. It should be a heavy load because all the little stuff pretty much except that chest freezer and it, it's pretty heavy in that side by side. And I got a junk refrigerator back there. People who I know brought that, their junk one over and I picked up one that, that works that I picked up as scrap. So we're going to try it out, which I've tested them out. They work, and but they've been back there for over a year. So hopefully they still work. But I got a microwave there and then two others. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Not much to it, but uh, not getting too many calls on the ad just yet. I may have to put some posts on Facebook and see how that goes. Got that aluminum ladder there to cut up yet too. So that grill is, is what I cook certain metal items on to help clean them up or loosen it to get rid of shellac or something. But uh, well, I was going to have a yard sale, so I need to get those two trolling motors out of there because I did test them once and they did work. So I can throw them out there for ten bucks or something, eight, ten dollars each, and just move them. I don't think I'd get that much in scrap out of them. So try to get some of this stuff out of here. Try because I've got a nice shady area here. I need to get that dead branch out of there. But usually it stays pretty shaded here until late in the afternoon it's, it's 1 30 now and you can see where the shade line is so it'd be a good place right there to probably work on work on a riding mower instead of way out there it'd be like closer to the tools i got that saw there i gotta get rid of and move that big heavy table out of there so, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, you know, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.